Hello there, everyone. I have a very special ship to showcase for you today. Well, it's sort of a ship. It's built by our very own Traveler and No Man's Sky content creator, Evolved Finch. Let me show you what I mean. I give to you Flint's Revenge, a massive space galleon that can rival, if not completely overwhelm, any ship in your fleet. If legend is to be believed, it was originally conceived in the darkness before time by Flint himself, who brought this ship to being to serve his purpose. It now travels through our iteration seeking a treasure untold. For you, Traveler, this ship is one you'll want to have in your fleet. It soars above the sky using its massive balloon, plowing through space and air alike under the propulsion of its very unique thrusters. Move aside, fan haulers. There's a new fan in town, and it means business. If that weren't enough, Flint's Revenge has two incredible wing sails that allow it to maneuver easily and ride the currents with immaculate precision. To be fair, it is a very, very large ship, bigger than anything we currently have in our fleets, so it's not exactly as fast as a fighter, but it really doesn't need to be. Who would be foolish enough to actually take this thing on? With the 14 flaming cannons lining the port and starboard flanks of the ship, who needs photon cannons? When you have the firepower of a whole squadron sitting in one ship. And if that wasn't enough, if you need to take down a whole settlement in one go, you have the big gun, the real firepower sitting on the bow of the ship. The most curious and perhaps wondrous part of this vessel is how it's powered. While the impressive cacophony of smoke and mechanics on the deck may have you believe it's steam-powered, you couldn't be more wrong. For Flint's Revenge sits atop the spine of an undead leviathan, the remaining nerves of this behemoth have infused directly with the keel of this ship, allowing Flint to sap every bit of magic from the beast, propelling his revenge through the cosmos. Not only that, now sworn to his service, this beast strikes absolute terror to anyone who may see it appearing over the horizon. But other than you, who can actually control this vessel? Let me introduce you to the ferryman. The hooded figure stands at the wheel, with only a lantern to light the way. Cursed by Flint to fly this space terror, the ferryman is one with the ship. He knows every last nuance of the galleon, and can guide it effortlessly through the eddies of space and maybe even time. Not convinced yet? All right. Well, how many times have you wished you could actually walk around inside your ship? Well, dream no more. On Flint's Revenge, it is a reality. Towards the stern of the ship, I present your captain's quarters. With all the comforts needed for the interplanetary travel, these quarters also come with some surprises, and maybe even a reward. The ship has been in Flint's service for a long time, and his bounty is stored here. Solid gold that is worth more than any space terminal has to offer you. Each figure has been found and infused with an unwilling soul, a fortune that Flint will not give up lightly. Moving deeper into the room, you can see your new captain's desk, and while it may seem simple at first with an X that marks the spot, Flint's real treasure, inconspicuous as it is, sits right here. A priceless compass that guides him to his next target, his next soul, a treasure that could be yours. It's likely others will try to take this ship from you, but you have nothing to worry about, because it comes equipped with a full arsenal for you and your crew to defend yourselves. And it's true, you may not have a droid, and the ferryman doesn't make for very good company, but Flint's Revenge comes with the final surprise. Meet your new best friend, Corpus, a loyal, if not mischievous monkey, who will follow you through all your adventures you'll have on this ship. Looks like maybe he's holding a bomb that may or may not blow up in your face. But here's the thing, maybe he's offering you the most delicious and ethereal apple you've ever had. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. It's easy to see this ship is one of a kind in our iteration. Everyone's gonna want it. You may be able to convince the ferryman to let you purchase this ship, though it may be a price you're not willing to pay. But regardless, beware. For you never know when Flint may come looking for the treasure you've taken from him. Hope you guys enjoyed that ship slash build base tour. As I said, it was made uh, by our very good friend Evolve Finch, who has a YouTube channel of his own. I've linked it in the description below here. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please do hit that like and subscribe button, and let me know in the comments uh, if you enjoyed this, and we could do some more base tours. 
thank you all very much, and until next time, happy hunting, happy building, and I will see you all out there in the verse. Have a good one, my friends. Let's <laughs> go.